They use the cloak of darkness to stalk their prey, intent on gorging upon human flesh. Werewolves. Cursed creatures that manifest from a human host upon the rallying cry of a full moon. They use the cloak of darkness to stalk their prey, intent on gorging upon human flesh. They then look skyward towards Earth orbiting satellite to appeal for compassion against their tormented existence, fully knowing that death will be their only release. Do werewolves exist? Or are they just fictional it's not my intention to convince you either way. But just listen to the debate for a few minutes and then come to your considered conclusion. If you say old stinker, to most people they will think of some poor vagrant who hasn't got the access to basic sanitary facilities. But to some, if you say old stinker, or to use his full title, it is the beast of Barmston Drain, the fabled werewolf that frequents the fields around Beverley, a market town in East Yorkshire in the United Kingdom. But first, let us look at the origins of the werewolf. One of the most accepted versions is back into the time of the ancient Greeks themselves. Lycaon, the legendary Greek king of Arcadia, this king loved Zeus, the creator of all mankind, so he built a temple and dedicated it to Zeus himself. Now this act pleased Zeus, but what didn't please Zeus was when he looked down and he saw the way that Lycaon was conducting himself. With this in mind, Zeus took it upon himself to make an appearance on earth actually in Arcadia, and to watch and to listen and to see how Lycaon was conducting himself. Zeus took upon the appearance of a mortal and started to work his way through this kingdom. As you can imagine, his ability to completely hide the fact that he was the All-Father God was a little bit difficult and people started to notice certain things about this strange individual. Now Wade got back to Lycaon about this man. Now Lycaon had a bit of a hunch as to who he was, so he invited him to the temple that he had constructed for Zeus and set about laying out a big banquet. At this particular banquet, Lycaon served Zeus with the body of a sacrificed child. Zeus was outraged and suddenly appeared in his full true form under bolts of lightning. As punishment, Zeus cursed Lycaon and his sons to ever walk the earth as wolf creatures and only to feed on the deceased flesh of human beings. So we can now say with some confidence that old Stinker the werewolf can trace his lineage back to 900 BC. Now what I find interesting is, up until the 18th century, the area that Old Stinker is said to frequent still had a bounty upon killing wolves up until the 18th century, when actually wolves had been eradicated from England itself some 200 years before. Now if we take the Old Saints Church of Barmston, which was built in the 1100s, and look in its wall, set in there is a skull and crossbones. Now nobody knows why this is here, or in fact what this depicts, what does this image mean? Is it actually a menu card for travelling werewolves? Who knows? Barmston itself passed into the hands of the Boynton family who lived there until the 17th century, 
where they then moved through marriage into the estate at Burton Agnes. Is it a coincidence that Burton Agnes lies within the World Newton Triangle, an area famed for its werewolves, fairies and goblins? Or could the werewolf actually be a scapegoat? Something to blame for the actions of the grave robbers of the 17th and 18th century. Something aimed at keeping you indoors of an evening, a moonlit evening, an evening where you had enough light by which to carry out these activities. One of the most recent reports of the old stinker happened in 2016, where he was seen carrying a large Alsatian dog from its mouth. And once disturbed, it jumped the 30 feet across Barmston Drain, only to disappear into the fields. Now, if Old Stinker is such a crazed and fearful creature, why did he run from the onlooker? Why did it not strike them down and feast upon their flesh? Why is the local press not filled with reports of disturbed graves? or missing people? Or could it be that the werewolf was taken upon a diet of roadkill? Or is it quite understandable as to why old Stinker ran away? After all, his kind has been persecuted for thousands of years. Even his very name has been given to him describes an awful creature, old Stinker, given to him because they say that before you see him, you smell his foul breath. Now ask yourself these questions. Have you ever had your actions misunderstood? Have you ever been misjudged by your involuntary appearance? Have you ever felt so frustrated that you yourself could look into the night sky and scream? Well, if you've answered yes to any of these questions, maybe you should show Old Stinker and his kind some compassion. But be mindful of this. Lycanthropy, or basically a human being, manifested himself into a wolf, which is commonly thought to occur during the full moon phase, you may say is ridiculous. But isn't it also been scientifically proved that our orbiting moon has the ability to affect our vast oceans, altering its tidal flows of water and in doing so changing the appearances of our shorelines. If werewolves do truly exist, then maybe, just maybe, all that you have been told about them through the media isn't strictly true. Now you've listened to this debate, you can come to your own considered opinion as to whether werewolves do truly exist. Whereas me, I'll have to leave. After all, it'll soon be time to change for dinner. <laughs>